guess that's an intro. That will work. Let's just make sure music is coming through. Music is coming through. It's weird music. We're gonna we start with something else. Okay, here we go. Monday, new week, and Noble Dwarf map. Light Harbor. There she blows. And um, I did a quick adjustment offline, but I'm going to wait for Noble Dwarf to be on to show them what I did. They're going to see it even from here, even at this Zoom. I'm going to... What's with all of the spooky music? Oh, you know, I'm just going to let it go. Going to let it go. Um, I think what I'm going to do tonight is we're going to work on these red harbors right here. And potentially fill this area here and here and we're gonna set up and it's not gonna be on thursday it's gonna be earlier than thursday but we are gonna set up working on edwardian buildings next so i think i'm gonna actually start with dockyards just to get us warmed up you know what i mean a little bit of a warm-up situation so before we do that we do a little sip And then we begin. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do warehouses. Got bush size, okay. And that grey line there, by the way, that's our... That's our road. So none of my buildings are going to go beyond that. It's going to be a hard edge right there. I know it is their spookies. I I put it on a random shuffle, and it it went into full spook mode. All right, and then I skipped it forward, and it did another spook. So I will we'll let it do spook. We'll let it get it out of its system. But yeah, I feel like this should be like a. Halloween stream or something. <laughs> uh, let's just do a little bit of a rotate. There we go. Buy another glove. I'm gonna have to buy another glove. This thing. I feel like it's not quite working as effectively as it did when I first bought it. Right. Little crates. The dock there. Let's tidy that up.
I do like doing my dogs. Alright. I feel like these could be bigger. I feel like they could be bigger. So let's... Let's do bigger here. Right along the edge of the road. Like entrance to the docks. Like an iron fence, you know? Gate. Let's bring this sucker out. Interesting roof shape. We'll have a little loading dock right here. There we go. Uh, no, let's not do that. Let's do that. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. All right, let's give it some roof detail. Come on, baby. Come on. That looks okay. That looks okay. Hit save. So... I kind of see this as like, you know, a gated entrance to this entire dock right here, which I think is kind of cool. Fuck it up. Come on. You're on camera, girl. to get into some Edwardian style buildings here, so... What is the main distinguishing thing about an Edwardian roof? Why am I looking at conservatories? Why am I looking at conservatories? That... Conservatories, why would you do that? Ed Edwardian roof, really? Conservatories? Uh, let's try something different. Architecture. Here we go. And just so you know what I'm looking at, I mean, look at these things. Lots of gables and stuff, right? Right, can we squeeze any more roofs on our roofs? <laughs> it 
So I feel like on the other side of the gate, maybe some kind of store. Let's do that. Feels heavy. That feels heavy. Let's let's not let's not try and get too clever by by off. It's a bad. Not quite that much. But yeah, it's at least. Noble's here. Brian's here. Sorry, guys. I completely um, missed you. Well, hold on a sec. Let me finish off this roof. Because, Noble, I've got something I want to show you. Brian, did you finish your map, by the way? The one where you're basically drawing half the world. Is that one done? Noble. Okay, I want to show you. Can you see? Can you see the adjustment that we made? I did it off camera. There she is, my friend. So what we did is, by request, the building behind me... This is a good way to lean. This building behind me... No, that's the wrong way. That... that. That building right there is the building that they want on this map. And you can see that that's what we've got. Oh, I'm disappearing. Oh, I'm gone. Yeah, so that's what we've just drawn. And we did that over there. 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 All right. I think it came out pretty good. I think it came out pretty good. I know the modern building doesn't have, like, the crane and everything on it, or, like, the winch thing, the rope. Uh, but I figured I'd add it. And I think it came out looking pretty nifty. I will colour it in the same colours, too. Alright, Brian, i got to see a link if it's very, 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 very close. Or wait until more people are in the chat, then show off. Alright, but that there, so we're done. Any time, Noble, that you see, like, you need to put a building in the map, what you did where you said, this area, this shape, put it here, it made it easy for me to do, okay? Dead easy. And I repurposed the actual warehouse. I just moved it. So it's not a problem to me. Now, if you do that after colouring, we're going to have to have a conversation. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. I don't, I don't even know what to do with this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. So we do something like this. And then we've got something like this. 
Something like this. Even my roof has a roof. Okay, there we go. Where's the TARDIS? The TARDIS is there, you just can't see it because the TARDIS blends in. Where's the phone booth? The phone booth, tell me that it's not that right there. Or where are the tire tracks? I think we're, I, we're gonna have tire tracks. Did I really say tire tracks? You've been rewatching. You're more of an expert on this map at this point than I am. Right, we're going to do roof detail in a moment. Let's um. Let's draw appropriate shapes first. Mm, no, I don't like that one. <laughs> Alright. Did you, um, Noble, did you post? Did you post those new videos, the time lapse videos? Because if you did, I need to share them. Alright, so we are basically shooting for roof, on a roof, on a roof, for the Edwardian stuff. And we'll get really into it when we um, do the residential Edwardian buildings. But right now I just want to bridge warehouses into Edwardian. question I have for you, Noble, on this point is, what era is this map? Even those ships that you posted on your markup, they almost felt steampunk. You know, I felt like I was looking at a, um, late Victorian sort of type of thing. So is, is that, is that the era? Second time lapse is up, and you'll do the third after episode 15. And we're on 13 now. Tuesday we will be streaming. Thursday we will streaming. Wednesday probably not streaming. So you should get 15 this week.
this is way more detailed than I normally had. This is going to be such a detailed map. This is going to be ridiculous. If there are airships, do we need an airship landing area? No ship, no airship landing area. Okay, that way. Okay, I just want to make sure if we needed to accommodate, we did. And I can't hate you, man. Hey, I love you. We're doing some good work together. And I think if this is the early stage. We're going to do some incredible stuff over time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, wow. What makes Wacom do that? Um, but also, this is our arrangement. This is our arrangement. I work on this, as you've been working on my stuff. That's fair. It's all good. Keeps me honest. Stops me... Um, you know, put 20 hours in and I go, okay, done. And you go, but it looks like shit. Let's do that. Uh, how do I want to do this? How do I want to do this? I think we're going to do it like this. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's fill that space. Actually, before I fill that space, let's stay over here. I knew I did it the wrong way. Hold on. Yeah, screw it. No, don't like it. Don't like it. You know what? Maybe the part of the problem is I do that now. You really don't want to play ball, do you? Come on.
that's much better. And that's better than the original. Now we've moved it. Both of them actually looked really good on the map. Uh, so if you're watching this later on, basically Noble Dwarf sent me a uh, markup of what they wanted a little area of the harbour to look like. And they used two shit plans inserted. And they actually looked really good. I'd actually like to draw a couple of ships on the map. Let's, I want to kind of mark off this area. I want maybe, you know what, maybe we'll have a gate opposite the gate. That type of thing. Right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. And we're going to join this area. Then maybe we'll come up here. We'll finish this dark area. And then we're going to jump over here. And then that will just leave the Edwardian area, which we can work on for the rest of the week then. And no problem, Noble. No problem at all. Sometimes I feel that way with um, areas of my map. It's like I don't want to draw or colour certain things because I want them to stand out, you know? So I get you. I get you. That is literally the building for Noble Dwarf printing in the city. Oh, okay, you put yourself in there. Well, it's a good looking building. And I think it's going to be extremely eye-catching. What's the point of making a world if I'm not in it? Alright, point. No, not that way actually. Let's do that way. So road comes in like so, and here like so, wraps around here, and then up the hill.
ba 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 let's um yeah 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 this By the way, Nobles, those maps, the Gabby Khan maps, they look exceptional. They look exceptional. I think actually people were very, very, uh, I don't want to say surprised because people didn't even know about them. But I think they, they were excited. Everything that I saw, people were like, holy shit. I have high hopes that you're going to sell out, and sell out quickly. I don't want to hex things, but that, that's what I was seeing. The blue is striking, and it wasn't intended to begin with, but it worked out really good. What, what do you mean? I, I put only five for one day. Of ad behind it. Oh, oh, you're talking about that you you boosted the the the, the thing or something. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. No, I think uh, I think people were. It was it had a good reception. It had a good solid reception. I'm hopeful. Uh, let's rotate. Let's rotate. I feel the need, a need to rotate. They looked, um, how do I say this? They almost looked shiny. They looked crisp. They looked super sharp. Like, I was genuinely surprised. And maybe that was just the camera. And I'll tell you what, the, the narration was just awesome, too. You had music, you had narration. I was like, holy shit. It's like professional here. It was cool. Well, your brother did a great job. Your brother did an outstanding job. It was fantastic. What box? What box are we seeing goodies in? The box you shipped? I'm excited. I'm excited. This is just like two weeks out. I'm excited. It's going to be so good. Oh. 
unboxing video. We're going to do an unboxing video. Alright. By um by what Jennifer Glazar said shouldn't be a problem. But I will make sure that I ask Phil. Just make sure he's cool with it. And that'd be neat actually, that'd be really neat. Now, now you got me even more excited. I was already bloody excited. Do we do a little path going up on the hill? Little path. I think I'm going to do a little path coming up on the hill. Oh, what's with the music tonight? It's all been horror. It's been bloody orcs, apparently. Then we're gonna do a little bit of terrain, a little bit of terrain, and we're gonna wind a path up here. There we go. Not like that though. Not like that. I don't. Ah, yeah, that's gonna be cracking. That is. You know what we could do now? We can get rid of this. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Let's get rid of this. Oh yeah, actually we should. We should do the path. Path! A path! Yeah, we should. Next time I shit this shit down with the stream. Wow. Yeah, next time I uh, sit down and do like admin day, I'll make sure we add one. Do I want to fill that right now? Do I want to fill that? I feel like I should. What, what are we doing here if I don't? That would at least complete a block and then we can maybe do this area here and then maybe start working on this area right here. Right, objective is to get this entire area done this week. And then we'll be definitely streaming over the weekend, probably Saturday. Ah, we're going to spill outside the city a little bit.
Um, I was thinking about streaming yesterday, and then I decided not to. I was actually really tired yesterday. We uh, gamed on Saturday, and that normally leaves me a little bit tuckered the following day. But I think the time difference, and this does not normally work this way for me, the time difference actually really buggered me out. Like, I could not stop yawning all morning, and I actually ended up taking a little bit of a bloody nap. I was knackered, and I had a lot of email catch-up to do. Like, I was a little behind on some things. I have my own convention that I do in um, May. I am one of many volunteers. I am the director. And um, this whole corona thing... Or the COVID-19. You know, I wanted to actually get a little bit organised on that. And I actually wanted to do um, a pitch for uh, some scenario ideas. Like, I don't have enough on my plate. I want to actually do a little bit of writing as well. So I was sending out a pitch to someone. Oh, I'm on roof details. I'm such a dope. What, uh, well, maybe I'm, maybe I'm not. Uh, tree. So yeah, I, ju I just had shit to do yesterday. And being dog tired. Dog tired. Yeah, I needed to, man. I needed to. Actually, yeah, I, I think I was not prepared for the time difference, the time change, you know. Normally I know about it, but this time it's like I, I didn't even know it was coming up. So the first I knew about it was the following morning. <sighs> that kicked my ass, let me tell you. Oh, apparently two fingers down like that does a delete. No, no. Oh, I did some kind of keyboard shortcut. You got a little choo-choo train. What is a choo-choo? Oh, you were part of the train, hype train conductor. Okay, okay. I was just looking at your little badge. All right, so we got like shit going on here I think work shed This is a time check. I'm going to stream for another hour thereabouts, so we should be able to get plenty done this evening.
Okay. Okay, good. That actually looks okay. That looks okay. So let's um let's finish off the dark area right here. It's almost like this is private docks, you know? There's no easy way in and out of this. And I think we're gonna keep that. Almost like it's more of a military dock area. Oh, come on, come on. Okay, so we're gonna have we're gonna have road here. I um Oh, come on. Really? There's a keyboard shortcut. I'm doing something. I, I don't know what it is, but something is... I, I don't know. Um, I don't know, Noble. Um, I think it's too early in the COVID-19 stuff. It's like, I get it when a convention does cancel. I, I get it. But I also think that there's an element of... Um, I don't want to say hysteria. But, um, I don't know, it's too early. It's too early for that type of shit. And Gabby Khan is, like, really close. So I'm not surprised that they took the tact of, um... Say, no, 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 th th we're going to go, we're going to run with this, but this is how you can safeguard yourself. This is how you can, you know... I don't want to say act appropriately, but at least feel better about things and um, um, I think our convention is going to do something very similar unless unless there is a statewide shutdown a mandatory shutdown we're going to keep going now that said my convention is in Washington and there's every chance that Washington will do something like that so we'll see we'll see But our intent, our personal intent too, is to just keep going. Just like Gary Khan did. And honestly, I mean... I would hope even if Gary Khan did cancel, which of course they're not... That I, I would still go out there. I've got my plane flights and everything. I'm still going out there. I'm doing something. I'm hanging out with someone. And I'll almost guarantee that a lot of people feel the same way. So even if it was cancelled, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if enough people turned up where there's still something going on there, you know? And that was kind of like the angle I was going to go at it from. Now, as a vendor, I, I think I'd be a little bit more worried about that type of thing. Because this is income. Even if you get your, like, you know booth money and everything back you lose that income you were relying on that's a lot more frightening It'd be great to hang out. When do you, you get in, like, Tuesday or something, right? So we're definitely going to see each other Wednesday. I will be in the bar Wednesday evening. You come find me. 
I think we have some maps to sign, so we'll have to figure out when that's going to happen. I think it's going to be Wednesday at some point. Because I think Thursday it all kicks off, right? So I'll be running games and stuff. So we should we should ensure that on Wednesday we get the map signed. gonna actually head up here now we're gonna start filling this in gonna do I think we're gonna do yes so what is the net result of this what am I doing here no I don't want to do that I don't want to do that we gotta do this Did I uh, you? I sent you a text about creating a 1920s airline ticket. Yes, I did send you a. T <laughs> yes, you didn't know that was me. Yes, yes, you be in your contacts at this point, young man. Yes, I sent you a text about creating. So hold on, hold on, hold on, Brian. Let me take. Let me get this right. Random person you don't have in your contact list sent you a text that said, "Hey, will you create me a Cthulhu prop?" And you just said yes. Alright. But yes, that was me. That was absolutely me. And I'm going to send you this, um, Brian, via email. But basically what I'm looking for is an airline ticket from the 1920s and so this is going to be you know this is going to be something that is kind of new they didn't really have that much by way of airlines right but we are we are going to do an airline my friend i'm going to have and it's just like you know you know the planes back then they weren't that bloody big So I'm gonna I'm gonna dig up um, some kind of precedent for it, and I'll send that across to you. Like, let's call it um, resource and inspiration. 
and then we're we're gonna create one a little bit like the uh, the ship one that we did i i kind of was able to reference something that was real i want to find something similar but for an airline and that i think is going to be a little bit harder Oh, I'm drawing these on brief details. I am such a dope. Oh well, we're gonna live with it. The ship one turned out magnificently. Like, um, seriously. It's the type of thing that you should be sending to um, the Historical Society. It was really, really, really good. And I don't know if I told you, Brian, but I actually printed them on, like, a pink paper. And then I... Um, had a, I bought a perforator. God knows where it is now. But I bought a perforator. And so the, the tear-off strip, I actually had as a perforation. And so I was able to actually fill them out with the players right there. And there we go. Shoop. There's your ticket, Mom. There's your receipt. It was, just, it was so perfect. It was so perfect. And so I want to do something similar. And I think between every chapter that I do, this is kind of what I want to do. I want to have something. Props are the best. Props are absolutely the best. And of course, because it is the masks campaign that I'm doing, um, we've got passports and things like that, and I've got stamps for the different countries that they go into. And so it, it seems appropriate to therefore give them, you know, shipping company um, tickets and things like that. What's the point otherwise, right? What, why are you playing Call of Cthulhu if you don't have some props going on? I'm still on the bloody details. Colouring this... I, I should be doing what Miss J said. I should have a colour filter on it. To tell me immediately if I was on the wrong layer. Saw made! Oh, Jesus Christ. What we do is we... Purge, timeout, ban, and then purge. There we go. There we go. the insects.
Yeah, I read a while ago that... I don't like this. I don't like where that's going. Yeah, I read a while ago that you, you can have auto-modding and things like that on the channel. And, uh, of course, have all sorts of restrictions, like you got to be a follower in order to post, and yada, yada, yada. And while that works in theory, it ends up being that you um, start adding restrictions to people that are just wandering in. Ah, I don't like that either. So they were like, you know, you're just not going to have that many people for the longest time. So don't, don't sweat it. Just, just mod it yourself as you need to go. And I'm like, you know what, that makes sense. We get, what, one spam bot? A quarter or something? Brian, if I don't actually write too soon, ping me, okay? Because I, I know that if you are close to being done with your particular mapping assignment, you probably have an interest in queuing up another thing, and we don't want to time crunch on the next assignment. So this might be a good opportunity for me to get something to you. Thank you. Reprisals from both you noble, you know me well now. I'm gonna hook the crap out of you at Gary Gun. Don't apologize, my friend. It's been a quiet night on the stream. This is a perfect time to be talkative. Plans for this very glorious building right here? Because didn't you ask for this building? Gentlemanly thoughts is here. What a new sir. Oh, Brian, did you? 1927 airline ticket. Perfect. Perfect. I will guarantee that that's going to be exactly what we need. We just need to swap out some details. Yeah, it will work. It will work. Because it will work. It will work. It'll work. Come on. Come on. How have you been? Gentlemanly thoughts. Good, good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have
We'll have a tree-lined avenue here. Lovely. Lovely. Oh, that's grand. Oh, can you add a carriage driveway for that house? Which house? Like this house? Hey, go to the gym. That's fantastic. I need to get back to the gym. Thank you, Noble. I kind of had a feeling that I was about to do what you are asking for, or that I did do what you were asking for. And we've got a stable carriage house off to one side. And I don't know what this is, but it's going to be maybe the guest house or something. Ah. Alright, so we're going to go a little further. We're going to go a little further. Uh, let me think about this. Let me think about what shape I want to do here. Oh, a ticket to an air show. Yeah, not quite the same. But they must have had something, right? They must have had something. Even if we repurpose, like, the, um, the ship, the passenger ship ticket, in that spirit of it. Because I'm actually going to do a scenario on board. Uh, or maybe, you know what, maybe you look up a blimp ticket. Look up a Zeppelin ticket. Um, but it's going to be something, it's going to be a fairly big plane. Not modern standards, you know. You know, maybe a dozen people on it, something like that. Um, and But they're going to serve food and shit like that. Old-fashioned style. Um, so I can help you with content if we could get, like, a good basis for the ticket in the first place. A Boeing Air transport ticket? See, that's the type of thing. That's the type of thing. Check this out, Brian. Super highway. Oh, oh, this is a type of thing, right? Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it is nice and high res. It looks like this is a torn bit too. But oh, this is exactly the type of thing. Because it's going to be multiple from and twos. Because they have to do it in short legs. I will do it like a, we'll do some kind of like cash fare paid. This, this will be the start of it. This, this is going to be just the type of thing. This is great. I wonder where the other half of this is. Transcontinental passenger service. Dude, that's perfect. I love it. 1927. I love it. We're definitely going to do... I, I think that's it. That's our start. I wonder where the other half is. The back has a map on it. Oh, man. That's fantastic. We're not flying across America, but we'll, we'll do something similar. We're flying from France to Egypt.
So I could actually imagine this being like sort of southern France, hopping over into um, Casablanca, flying across the northern coast into Egypt itself. Yeah, that looks good. Good find, Brian. Keep them handy. Yeah, we're going we're to do, I think we could basically say that's it, okay? Now, just like the other ticket, though, there'll be a, a, a chunk that gives all of, like, you know... But basically, they were almost mirrored, weren't they? Like, because we had this big part of the ticket, and they talked about terms and conditions, and what meals you were going to get and everything, and then there was a, th a thin strip that, uh, I don't know... And you sign both, and then you tear them apart, and like, but they both had terms and conditions, and they both had passenger number. And I think one was what the airline or the shipping company would keep, and one was handed to the passenger. Here you go, that's yours, right? We need that. We need that. We can we can recreate it based upon what you've got right there. And noble, it's exactly Indiana Jones, exactly that type of thing. You can't have a good vibe for this type of shit. All right. I'm going to fill in this hole. I'm going to fill in this hole right here. Because that brings us then truly into the Edwardian district. In fact, Noble, let me let me show you, let me show you, Noble, what Brian did. Hold on. Where's my Call of Cthulhu? We do Call of Cthulhu. We do props. We won! Hey! There he is! A what? There he is! The Bashman! You're the Bashman, man, kid! Oh, come on. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Brian, if you've got if you've got a copy of that on your site, post a link. I want to show everyone the prop you made because it was awesome. Hey, Miss J, just popping in to say hi. Admire the map. Um, Twitch is not giving me uh, giving the low quality bit today, so drive me nuts. Short order. All right. Well, while you're here, this is where we're at. We've been working up here. Good to see you, Miss J. Hopefully, some point later this week, we get to hang out. What up, King Bashman? Oh, it's on your old computer. Well, I'll dig it up. I'll dig it up. And um, I will show you, Noble, later this week, the prop that he made. Brian, look for look for airline posters too, because you know we had a uh, ship poster. Look for airline poster as well, because we'll make one of them. Cleaning up after my terrain crafting stream. 
Yeah, lost me. What do you mean terrain crafting stream? You did terrain crafting on a stream? What are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do? We're not doing that. Or that. Yeah, more like that. Okay. You started doing tabletop terrain out of cheap materials. Alright, I'm intrigued. You know me and modeling in general. How did that come about? I thought you were going to be doing a stream on Diablo or something. And now you're cutting up old foam and carpet? I has it confused. See, my cat in the background has it confused too. Did an abandoned fountain out of dollar store foam board and cheap crap toy. Did it work out good? Alright, King Bashman posting picture. Let's check it out. Oh! King, that actually turned out real good. You did all of that on stream, huh? That's fantastic. You should totally be pouring some water resin into this right here. That's awesome. That's really cool. Oh, another picture. I didn't know you were doing that. I did not know you were doing that. King, okay, I'm gonna. I've got to use a different tool um, than my stream OBS. Um, but I've got to find your channel and hit you up with a follow. It's not because I'm a twat. I literally just don't have you followed. Yeah, it's the same as you've been a twat thing. No, it's not intended though. It's never result, it's still the same, you twat. Okay, okay, you are going to fill it. Awesome, awesome. You know you should get some little fishies or make some little fishies and then put them in there as part of the layering technique of the resin and have some little fishies swimming around. But you've got to put water lilies on the top. You have to.
you're going to start a terrain making stream, I'm going to have to start, ha like, following. I have a thing for terrain making. I don't do that much of it, but I love watching it. So the base and statue have little magnets in them, so they're interchangeable too. Well, get them, you professional whore, you. That's fantastic. Hey, last lap 70. Let me zoom out so you can see what's going on here. We're going to stream for about 20 more minutes. And we're getting... Close to being four fifths done. I love it. I love it. Last lap, don't worry about it, my friend. It's all good. We're still streaming. You get to see what we've been working on. We're in a good position right here. I'm about to start drawing some Edwardian buildings. In this last little district here. And then we've got to spill out on the other side of the pond. So to speak, or the river. Um, but that will be later in the week. This. You know, I said I want to fill this this week. We're going to get really close to filling that this by tomorrow night. Tomorrow night, I think we might have this done. Which then leaves Thursday night, I'm st skipping Wednesday, to spilling out over here. Alright, we're murdering along. Spilling out, exactly, exactly, last lap. You, you get the idea. You see these grey shapes here? Right along roads coming out of the city, spilling out. And it, it's going to spill out all the way around the city. So what we're drawing here is really just the inner city. There's going to be an outer city too. The colouring is going to be monstrous. Brian, bookmark that site. Bookmark it. Maybe even send me a link. Because we're going to be in that site a lot, I think. Noble, yes, of course I will. Alright. Cheers, Brian. Very much appreciated. What are we going to do here? What are we going to do?
Yeah. Right, that's an outstanding find. Zoom in and see fibers of the paper. I am getting goosebumps. That's fantastic. All right, see you, Miss J. Love you, girl. Talk to you soon. Yeah, Brian, that sounds like a treasure trove right there. Jeez, Louise, this, this roof. All right, so something like this. No, something like this. Holy balls. Really? Really? Yeah, yeah, really. All right. All right, see you tomorrow. Five ways to identify an Edwardian home. Oh, it's YouTube. Well, we're not doing that. How to identify an Edwardian house. Edwardian architecture. Front gardens and increasing emphasis on privacy meant that front gardens were regularly present in Edwardian properties. Alright, so we're going to start bleeding into having front gardens. Porches. Porches edged with timber railings are a common feature of Edwardian properties. Alright, well, let's start doing this. So, in other words, 
These are Edwardian. Garden, porch. So let's set our buildings back. Let's set our buildings back. You know what? Let's draw what we just found right now. I don't like that. Hold on. There you go. That's better. And we have we have a house here. We have a house here that is doing. What is it doing? We are gonna have roof like so, and we got. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this, and then this comes to here, and then it kind of does this crazy shit. All right, and we got a little roof here. This is where they got the porch. Okay, and then we're actually gonna have. Mm -hmm. right, like a little um stable or a uh, coach house or something. And then we've got this guy right here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And then we've got this. And this is gonna go. Shkapow. Shkapow. Yeah, we can't, we can't draw the whole map like this. Obviously, we'll be here forever. But I think getting one or two like this is kind of neat. Let's go back, A little bit of a porch going on here. The gardens. Alright, this is setting the trend. This is setting the trend. Okay. Yeah, okay, okay. I get the spirit. I get what you're trying to do here. I get it. That's a pretty major bloody garden right here. We'll do that in colouring, I think. Okay, okay. Let's delete our road and let's see what we're looking like. So noble. Apparently, this is kind of a hallmark as we start getting into the Edwardian. Is the um, propensity for front gardens? So we're gonna we're gonna start that. And we get that that's going to be one way that we actually have these areas merging together. So we're going to have up here, 
are Georgian buildings with some gardens. Mostly gardens out back there, right? And we're going to have some small gardens in the front. And as we come more and more and more into the, uh, the Edwardian area, the gardens out front are going to get a lot more noticeable. This is going to be our hallmark here. This style of building right there. I think that will work. I think that will work. Sorry, I think the track's done. And yeah, it was annoying, wasn't it? I think it's going to look great. I think it's going to look great. Those uh, colourful garden plots are going to rock. I think they're going to rock hard. I should probably bookmark this site. Okay, balconies. Many Edwardian properties have balconies. That's another thing. Sash windows. Oh, it's still bloody going. It's still going. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay, he's gone. Um, sash windows, casement windows. Oh, I don't like this one. Save All right, just hit save. No, no, I'm saving my Edwardian buildings. Let's save over here. There we go. Oh, come on. There we go. Saved. Pebble dash and mock timber frame. What is with, with the music tonight? It has been dreary as shit. Less elaborate barge boards. Less elaborate barge board. What is a barge board? While well, elaborate barge boards were very much a feature of Victorian architecture, Edwardian properties tended towards under more understated simple barge boards. I still don't know what a barge board is. I'm not sure it's going to feature in our drawing. All right. I think that's a good stopping point. I think that's a good stopping point. We've been going for about two hours. And we're now dipping our toe into Edwardian. So let's recap what we did tonight. Because we got actually quite a bit done. We redrew that area of the map and that building in particular and I think it is extremely distinctive and it is this guy behind me. That is a named building in this city. Then we actually came up here to here. None of this was drawn tonight. So we drew this area, all of those docks, started to dip our toe into um, uh, the border of the Edwardian zone, right? We've got the roof styles going up, but they don't have the gardens yet. And then we've done these warehouses here. Then we zoomed over here. And we actually did quite a few buildings in that area, more of the Georgian style. And we're now bleeding across into the Edwardian. So right here, that's our focus for tomorrow night. It's all about Edwardian buildings. And I think, I think this area might fill in pretty quickly because of the propensity to have front gardens. It basically, you fill twice the area, you know, it, it, with one building. So I think that might go fairly quick and I think it's going to look freaking beautiful. I think it's going to look kick ass. Cheers, King. That's very much appreciated. This has been a serious map. It's going to just keep on going. I think tomorrow night we'll be done with the Edwardium. Then I think Thursday night we're going to start spilling out into the outer areas. Which means Saturday... I don't want to make any promises, but Saturday... We might be mostly done with ink work on Saturday. We're, we're going to be done with ink work, I think, before Gary come. I think that is our target at this point, which means we're colouring after Gary come. I think that's where we're going to be. I think she looks pretty damn good. Yeah, 
I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. All right. So I'm going to stop the stream now. We're back tomorrow night. We're get tomorrow night is Edwardian night. I don't know why I'm doing this. Edwardian night. And so come join us. Let's do this. Let's knock out this area right here. Right there. Yeah. Let's do it. And Noble, I'm going to save this and send you a copy right after the stream. And uh, you'll see it crop up. I'll, I'll send you a link, okay? Love you all. Thanks for hanging out. We're gonna we're gonna be really close on this one, real soon, which is amazing. And then we'll start getting into coloring. We might start coloring before Gary come. I think that that's a good possibility. So let's do it. Let's get into this tomorrow night. Love you all. See you same time, about five thirty Pacific time, eight thirty ish Eastern Standard Time. Let's do this thing. Edwardian buildings for days. I'll see you then.